I'm just going to ask a question. All right, we are on the groove. Got it. Let me close this. And we're just going to ground and go slow and share from our hearts. Okay, so I just want to take a moment to really just thank you for coming on. And I know, I know how the, the brave heart it requires to say, I'm willing to share about my experience. And, you know, inner circle is really an intimate experience. And so for whoever's watching and, or might watch, you know, I've asked Elaine because Elaine is so magical and so expansive and expanding. I've been just watching you expand and asking you, like, how do you feel about sharing your journey? And we will share to the extent that your heart feels safe and good. Thank you. That sounds great. Um, do you do you want to tell us a little bit about like what drew you to School of Love's inner circle? I don't know if you're going to remember this. This is so adorable, but my daughter was attending a Facebook Live with you. Yeah. And it was like a two or three day thing. And she reaches out to me and says, Mom you have to check this out. So she sent me the link and I went on and I swear, Diana, it was like the last 15 or 20 minutes of like a two or three day thing you were doing. And you asked a question and I answered and um, you told me something that changed my marriage that day. It was like, well, all righty then. Well, all righty then. Like I... One thing I know about myself and I can say with confidence is I am conscientious in my love relationships. Like, you know, with everyone I'm close to, mm -hmm. oh my God, I like, that is my, that's my career mm -hmm. is loving people. Yes. And um, I'm married 36 years. Mm -hmm. And I got off that live with you and went to my husband and apologized because I had not been honoring him in a way that I understood was necessary. Mm. And um, I'm so grateful to you because like, I'll get it. I just, if I don't know, if I haven't thought of it myself, if I don't have the technology on my own or find it, you know, in my environment or my culture, I'm just SOL, you know? So luckily my daughter hooked me up with you for a few minutes and I saw that, oh my gosh, this could be so different. So yeah, I was like, I don't know what this is. And I, I'm not even sure if I belong because I'm so much older, you know, it's like, these are young women figuring this stuff out and shit, I need to learn, you know, I need to learn this. So yeah, that's, that's what, that's what hooked me. Mm. It's just I a few minutes and my marriage improved, like from that point forward, it's improved. And it wasn't bad. I mean, you all, it was like, it's yeah. a beautiful marriage. Yes. Now it's just getting better and better. Oh, so. I love that. And I, and I love that you say it wasn't bad because that is like most of the women that I'm working with, it's not bad. It's just that there is like, mm, you're like, I know there are ways specifically that I'm showing up that could use some reflection or, and you know, just exploration. And then what that then creates as a ripple effect in the relationship to like deepen the connection and the trust and the communication and opening of your hearts. Because the truth is in long relationships, especially when like we've been together decades, there are so many opportunities for the heart to close. And there are so well, many opportunities. For us, it was a lot of like just patterns of behavior. Yes. Um, the day in and day out of okay. you do this, I do that. Yeah. Um, this has to be done. You you have to do that, and yes. you just sort of. And we're raising a family, yeah. so you just sort of like fall into automatic. I knew I loved him. I knew he loved me. That was yeah. never in question. Yeah. It was just I was doing a lot of the work for him. Yeah. Because I'm impatient, and I didn't realize. You know, so I had to back up and give him some space and take some space for myself, you know, so it's been, uh, it's yeah. been enlightening. Sorry about my dogs. Oh, I've got, it's real life. 
It's real life. Um, I'm curious if there were other things that you had explored or tried previously. And then if you have, like how do those experiences, whether it's like programs or I don't know, seminars, how do they differ to the experience in Inner Circle? Well, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I never pursued many programs pertaining to my marriage. Yeah. Because I felt pretty solid in my marriage. I had my own personal stuff I was working through. Mm -hmm. So, oh my God, the list is exhaustive. I've done mm -hmm. and psychoanal analysis, therapy, cognitive behavior, behavioral therapy. You know, I, I worked with a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner for my health. I mean, it was like, I've done experiential workshops, all valuable all of it valuable and it all had its place. I don't regret any of it. Yeah. But I needed a finishing school to get down to like, and that's what school of love is for me. It feels like a finishing school because, you know, when I like look at all of it, it's, it's honestly been a career of loving to the best of my ability without any useful instruction. Yeah. You know, honestly, it's like, you know, you follow your heart. You don't want to harm anyone. You know, you set it in mind. Like for me, it was, I'm just in service to those I love. That's it. That's it. And I thought that was the way. And wow, I look back on it now. And I, I wasn't on my own list. I didn't make room for me. And the what little bit of interaction I had had with you before in our circle, well, it wasn't just a little bit, luckily for me, and I got to do some other weird programs, but I got really clear that I have to at least be in the mix. And now I'm understanding, you know, baby, you come first. Like, and it's not because nobody else matters as much as me. It's like so many people are depending on me. Yeah. And I want to be here for that. Like, I don't want to miss a thing, but I can't do it if I can't function. Like I literally, at one point, I taken a family member to Target and I'm in the parking lot. I didn't want to be there, but there I was doing the thing that, you know, somebody asked of me. I felt like I was trying to animate a corpse. I swear to God, I know that sounds dramatic, but that's how it felt. Like I had no energy for what I was doing. And so I had to find, I had to change some things. And that's what, I didn't even know what self-care was. Right. You know, so I started to learn about self-care and I'm like, Jesus, I could spend eight hours a day doing self-care. <laughs> I might need to, you know, at that point it was pretty bad. So yeah, like, uh, I, I wasn't looking at my marriage. I was looking at how I was squandering my life, not realize I thought I was doing the right thing. Overthinking, overgiving, oversharing. Right. All the poster old. child. Poster yeah. child. Yeah. Don't yeah. we all have those moments? Yeah. So what would you say, like, I know, I know how much you love this experience, and that's also obviously why I was like, do you want to share about your experience? Well, what would you say has been like the most delicious or your favorite part of this journey? We're only four months in, we still have two months to go. I know. Well, yeah, honestly, I feel like I'm just now starting to hit my stride in inner circle. I know that sounds funny because I've been right in it. <laughs> yeah. But the thing that is just bowling me over is that I, I made a lifestyle out of being there for everyone else and did not realize that I wasn't making sure anyone was there for me. Yeah. And um, the inner circle is a sisterhood where I am cherished. And that's new. Like... I'm, of course, I've been cherished throughout my life, but I didn't feel it. I couldn't feel it before. And now it's like, oh, okay. It's unmistakable. You know? yeah. So I, that sounds so, I don't know, but it's the, it's truth. the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Like I feel 
honored and respected just because of who I am. I'm, it's not, I don't have to be special. I don't have to save the day. I don't have to perform or provide service or anything. It's just you show up, you share your heart, and people fall in love with you. And it's like, oh, oh, of course. Like, I didn't know that because that's who I fall in love with mm-hmm. are the you know, folks who allow themselves to be seen. You know, of course you fall in love with them. Of course but I you fall in love with them. Yeah, I was so busy make, trying to make sure everyone had that. I wasn't looking for it for myself. Yeah. And um, y'all are teaching me that, that it's okay to sit back and let it come. Yes. And of course, that is also coming through loud and clear in my marriage. And holy crap, is that exciting? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, we had a pattern of this is how we do. This is who we are. These are the things, you know. And now this thing that sparked this whole relationship, the original connection, the, the sacred spark of it is glowing again and I don't know that I even knew to hope for that Diana honest to God I mean I wanted it of course what woman doesn't but like it's a thing it's a real thing and there are ways to nurture it there are ways to get myself to shut the hell up and let him be what he is. Yeah. You know, it's like all the things, you know, all the things. And the, the adorable thing to me is it's not really dissimilar to kind of what I learned from 1950s housewife stuff. Mm-hmm. The difference is, is that I get to love myself. Mm-hmm. I get to be in the mix and not put everyone else ahead of me. Like I get to be on the list and I didn't get that bit. I didn't, I missed that part. Like if it was, if it was in the literature, I missed it, yes. but I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. Yeah. And like when, when you're in that energy of like, I'm in the mix, I matter. Like there is no way for the people around you not to notice that and respond to that. There's no way for them not to feel and notice it. That's true. That's true. Everything's changing. Everything's changing. I noticed yesterday I took one of my grandchildren out. We do, you know, what you what you do on Sundays, you know, 20 bucks at a dollar store or whatever. Mm-hmm. And this was a new feeling for me. It was a new experience altogether because before I felt isolated and alone and carrying it all myself and I'm out in the world now going there are kindred spirits all around me Mm -hmm. because the things that I value are normal human values family connection caring kindness I wasn't seeing that before I was so busy thinking I was providing it to a world that didn't have it somehow and now I'm seeing it's all around me there are no strangers in this world unless, you know, it just goes that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. So it's like, wow, I didn't know life could get like this. I love that. I, I almost hear it as like the, the connections within you are so fired up that like, it's in, like all of your soul connections, even like just like a, a passing glance someone is like oh I recognize you exactly they're potent it's potent and I don't have to like before I don't know I felt like you know I was trying to pull people to me because you know I was so feeling lost on the inside I mean it's a we I don't know how to describe it maybe it was codependency I don't know what to call it but now it's like oh I have so much love I don't need everyone in the world to like me it's okay you know and now that it's like I'm walking around knowing all, knowing this, that I am held, I am loved, I am provided for, that it's easy to let my interactions be light, breezy. It's not so 
you know, are you my mother? <laughs> the book. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you my new best friend? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And actually, the like the opening, like, actually, there is so much, there are so many opportunities. There's so much space for you to be provided for is what I've been feeling for you. Mm-hmm. It's an outside in love that you don't have to be the one always shining it out, that it is really your turn to receive. And that's exact. that's the best way to say it because that's how it is. Like I see it in the eyes of strangers, yeah. you know, just me being my happy self. I see the connection. We don't have to speak. We don't, it, it's not like that. It's just, yeah, I see you. I see you, you know, and it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's a new experience for me. Are you open to sharing with us as much as you want, like some of the tangible things you've noticed in your marriage that are like feeling exciting? Okay, well, I'm learning to make suggestions for what I might desire. Yeah. And uh, it's having an effect. Let me say that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Having a profound effect. And uh, I'm I'm seeing a lot of excitement. Um, from my husband, who um, is not a, anyone who knows him. He is like, he's a strong, silent type. Mm-hmm. He's, you know, he's a man of high value. Mm-hmm. And he just does not, he's, he's not a frivolous man. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing excitement again and mm-hmm. playfulness and flirting and dancing in the kitchen and, oh, you know, all the things, you know, from way back when, when we first yeah. fell in love and it's fun. It's fun. Yes. I love that. It's fun. Mm-hmm. And you know, like you're a woman, Elaine, who really does integrate. I, I, I would love to think that it doesn't feel like a lot of work to be an inner circle. No, it, well, here's the thing with inner circle. Yeah. You this, tell this, me. this is yeah. the book beautiful part about I love this this is the only place I know where it's like totally cool to just talk real yeah like I don't have to bullshit about anything I can like just say what I actually truly think and when you can communicate that way and be that way in a group where it's just sort of understood that this is what we're here for integration comes easy because I'm not having to filter through interpretations because I understand what the hell is happening and I can report honestly what is happening so yeah like half of integration for me has been reinterpreting what the hell happened because I I was confused or I didn't understand you know it's so yeah it's a snap because we get right to it like we don't waste time with the stories and not that they're not valuable oh my god you know but in inner circle, the stories matter so little. It's really, what do you really think about it? What do you really feel about it? Like, what is your truth about it? It doesn't matter what the story is. And that's what we operate from. And oh my God, I want to live like that. That's just, you know, I'm trying to like enact that in my world. <laughs> you know, like, let's just, because it's so true. It's like, if you're just, if you can just honestly be what the hell you are in the moment, it's clean. It's kind. Everyone knows where everyone stands. Yes. Like none of this, you know, tango nonsense of, you know, the dance of how can I present so that you'll accept. Yeah. It's, it's exhausting and exhausting. boring. Yes. And boring. Thank and you. boring. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Inauthentic. Inauthentic. And when we're inauthentic, mm-hmm. when we're inauthentic, and we're not like, we're not in ourselves. How can someone actually really connect to us if we're not really there? They can't. They it's can't. Imp- it's impossible. Like, I mean, there is no way. There is no way. There because is. only connecting can only come from authenticity. Yeah. That's it. And all the controlling we try to do in relationships, our relationships, myself included, I have those moments. We disconnect from ourselves. We disconnect from our partner. Like they can't even come closer to us when we're trying to control that much. 
Right. Can you tell us like, you know, okay, so we have our sessions every two weeks as a group and we have our one-on-one and you have your support coach that you get to meet with and there's the boxer and the hypnosis and like just in your own, I don't know, however you want to describe it, like how is that journey for you to have that like surrounding you? Like I, I, I don't love the word container, but I'm seeing it as like, it is kind of a container. It kind of is. Like we're kind it is of beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's sacred to me. It's sacred to me. And I was thinking about that the other day because the we have 24 seven access basically. I mean, not that we get, you know, instantaneous responses because of, you know, we live, we have lives, but it's incredible. And I was thinking the other day, like, I need to use this up more. You know, because it's like, so there, my life has become so happy and calm. So I, you know, it's like, I'm not needing, you know, I'm not having crises anymore. Like I was before in my life, but it's, it's like, oh gosh, it's right there. And I can't think of a reason to use it right now. It's like having like, (laughs) like a really fancy sports car in the driveway and nowhere to go. Like, that's how it feels. It's like, you get all the good stuff, but not a lot of reason to use it all, as much as you think you might want to, but it's incredible. It's, the support is incredible. Okay, I think my last question for you today. How do you feel now four months in so we still have two months to go. How do you feel about the decision to have invested in yourself in this way? I do it. I pay double and do it again. Oh my gosh. I want you to know something, Diana. For the last few nights, when I'm laying down to go to sleep, I have to consciously tell myself to stop smiling so I can relax to go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> this is where we are now. So yeah. Yeah, worth it? Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. And this is like these, what you're helping me with is stuff that will live with me for the rest of my life. This isn't just like, you know, some big ideas that I can follow along with for a while. I'm enacting this stuff in my world and it's changing it. It, it is like magic for me. So it's changing how I am, how I show up. It's changing everything for the better. Like I, there, I am so excited because I know I'm, I can't not be okay at this point because I have all the tools I need to go forward and I'm excited about the future. I want to see what I can do. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's, I, it just feels like it's, it's the best it's ever been. And it's only getting better from here. And I'm 63, y'all, you know, my husband and I made this pact, you know, last month based on like where we, we have decided we are not planning on dying. We're just not like, I know we probably will. I'm not going to worry about it. We're yeah. living freaking full tilt as long as we can. I have reason, like I've got grandchildren and hopefully great grandchildren eventually. And I want to be here as long as possible to love love the way you're teaching me how to love and I can't thank you enough for that I get to be who I probably meant to be because my daughter told me to check you out oh I didn't I don't even know where I would find this honest to God I don't know where I would find it so thank you thank you I love you I love you too. You are magic. Ah, takes you one. are magic. You are too, girl. You, um, you like you are magic. It's like it's on a whole other level. I, you know, I don't try to sell like this is my magic because it it isn't. It's it's like an inner circle. It is really important who comes in because we are, we are in co-creation like together and so it's my magic sees your magic and it comes together and it's like I so appreciate you thank you for sharing I appreciate your beautiful heart your beautiful story thank you for journeying with me these last months 
Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Okay, we'll stop the recording and I wanna say a proper farewell to you. Um, for whoever's watching or will watch, I hope that you could feel just like the power of this woman. And if you have questions for us, just drop them below. I'd be happy to talk. Mm -hmm. Lots of love. <laughs>